My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you a repair that you might find yourself in need of. Or maybe it's just something that you've wanted to do, and that is replacing the lens on an iPhone camera. I'm not talking about the exterior protective lens, I'm talking specifically about the back camera motor assembly. And this video has been a requested video because replacing the camera itself can sometimes be expensive, and you have to deal with the pesky notification that you've replaced the camera. So in replacing just this component, which is the majority of the reasons cameras need to be replaced, you can save yourself from that notification and every time a little bit of money or a lot, depending on the model that you're working on. Enough said, let's get into the video. Here I have an iPhone 11. When I go into the camera, you might notice the black dots kind of scattered around the screen. If I go to the wide angle you can see that i've got a nice clear picture but as soon as i cross over you can make out these hazy dots and in this particular case the exterior lens is clean and so is the interior lens. What we have is dust inside the camera module itself. So that's where this comes into play. This is the back camera motor assembly designed for plenty of the iPhone models. Basically all of the 11 series and most of the 10 series. And here you can see a more close up of it. It's the actual lens itself. And this is what I'm going to be replacing today. Now, this repair doesn't necessarily require replacing this because this can be pulled and put back, but I've had enough requests showing how to replace it. So that's what we're going to do. Now you can see it's more apparent as to why that lens is dirty. The phone itself has got plenty of dust. After removing the display, I've got two screws here. to Hold down the bracket for the camera. We'll take that out and disconnect the two cameras and plug out the unit. And as you can see, the lens itself is actually really clean. It's just dust has gotten into the camera. Blow off any of the excess dust. Take some captain tape. I'm gonna protect the lens a bit there. We'll just cover up the camera lenses like that. The next thing we'll need is our heating platform with the mold designed for the cameras itself. Turn it on and we're going to go set the temperature down to 110 degrees. And now we'll just stick in the camera into its slot and we'll turn it on. And we'll let this heat up slowly. And for the next step, we're going to be using a little scraping tool. There are plenty of different kinds, but this one is the one that I prefer. We will also be using this chisel tool, and we're already at temperature now. We've got about two minutes to clear the glue and get the shield off. Now that I've got the frame scraped where I want it, I'm going to carefully slide in. Give myself a little bit more time. Now you can adjust that time so that it doesn't have a countdown, but it's not a big deal. Take off the, the shield there. Now we can lift this out. Huh. Now we can push it out and pull it away. Now it's best to do this next part under a microscope. You can do this completely by eye, but it, it definitely helps to have some magnification. For this next part, I'm gonna take my airflow down fairly low. I have my temperature set at 160 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna come in here with my little flat chisel and we're gonna remove all of this glue. 
And then we'll do the same on the other side with the actual flex cable itself. And I'm going to take my chisel iron at 360 degrees Celsius. Separate one side. We'll flip it over. And we'll do the same thing to the second side. And then it'll come off just like that. And now we can see exactly what was causing all of those little spots. You can see all of the little dust and stuff on there. Now this lens is completely reusable if you really wanted to. All right, we'll clamp up our camera. We're gonna take a hotter again at 160 degrees and we're gonna get rid of some of, we're gonna get rid of all of the adhesive that we can on the camera. I use some 99.9 .9 isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip. I'm going to go around and we're going to clean up, without leaving any fibers behind. I'm going to clean up all of the burnt flux, of any of the residue, and then we're going to clean off the lens itself. And for that, I'm going to get a clean room wipe. And I'm just going to clean it until I have no spots left on it whatsoever, just like that. I install the new camera. I just want to protect the, the lens on the outside here. And then flip that off. And you can figure out the orientation pretty simple. It's looking for the basically the grounder. There's a grounder on one side right there. You can line it up with the only spot that it'll go. And then this will be in the proper orientation for soldering it back together. Now one of the things that we need to do is carefully remove this sticker. We have access to the solder joints and let's go back under the microscope and get this soldered on. I double check there's no dust on the, the lens on the inside and here on the face still now that I had it sit for a second. Something that I forgot to do that makes a world of difference when putting this back together is just to remove all of the factory solder with some wick and flux. Which that just means we're gonna have to clean the lens all over again because it's probably gonna get dirty, but it's worth the effort. Now we can, now that we've got that sorted out, we can go ahead and install the, the lens. Now this is an OEM pole. It means there's gonna be some residual solder from behind, left behind. So I'm just gonna see if I can get that gone real quick. There we go. So we'll set it in place. The lining looks pretty good. Now that I've got one tacked in place, let's check the alignment of the other side. So let's flip it around. That looks pretty dead on. We're going to tack this side and then we'll move on to the ground and then we'll go and do each one individually, adding small amounts at a time because the last thing that I will, we want to have happen is any of this flux and solder get inside the camera there. So I like to go one at a time to ensure that that doesn't happen. And I'm showing you this, figuring that this is going to be your first time doing it. Now we'll flip it around and do the same on the grounding area right here. Put some butter paste. got that all soldered back on and looking good. We're going to go ahead and install it back inside the frame. And to do this, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of 
glue inside the frame here to help kind of stabilize it. And then something else I want to do is help kind of make this somewhat dust proof again. I'm going to go around the border and add a, a layer of glue around the, just kind of seal it in. And this glue will also grab onto the side of the frame and make it so the camera is stable as well. Doesn't just shake around like, like I'm shaking now. Throw some glue on the sides. I'll we'll take that and take the camera, set it inside. And then I'm going to put some glue on the back here. We'll grab our plate and stick it over the top and push it on. We'll put it back in the phone and let it naturally cure in place. We'll take off the protectors there. We'll go ahead and install the camera back into the frame here. Connect up the connectors. Grab our camera shield here. Put back the two screws and now we can test it. We'll grab our display, connect up the proximity sensor, assembly the display flex cables and last the battery now let's turn it on and take a look at the camera once it's booted up there we go you can actually see the switch here between the wide angle there it is but you know we no longer see any of those spots on the display so it zooms all the way in, nice, clear, crisp picture, not shaking, looking real good. And there you go, replacing the back camera motor assembly, it's not that difficult. Now you might have some tips and tricks of your own, so leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment below what repair would you like to see in a future video. Thanks a ton for watching, we'll see you in the next video.